<laughs> hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and I was literally about to make a joke about how, haha, like I stopped the, I stopped episodes in between, like this in between segment where the timer isn't going, so you can't see how long it's been since the last episode ended. I was about to make that joke, and then I burst out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> because look how close it was to being 42069 <laughs> I'm a pathetic human being. Let's keep going, shall we? Oh my god. That That is funny to me. It is so close. Okay, this is really boring. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, this is probably not how you do it. Cariavelli! Mm. Ooh! This is not at all the level I was expecting when I heard this song in the soundtrack. Or expecting right now, either. Overdrive glasses for you and your AI pack. There's a big blue thing over there that's pulsating. Interesting. I like how this is kind of combining a bunch of different. Uh, what does it say? North Base Mall under construction. It's combining a lot of different uh, gimmicks so far. We've seen a bunch of gimmicks so far just from other levels, and that's kind of neat. The frame rate on this level, though, I think it's this weird glowing light thing. It is kind of killing. You know what? I like fire more than edgy. Magical! We haven't seen magical in a while, actually. I'm gonna go with magical instead. Because we've seen fire a decent bit. But it's been a long time since I've been magical. I wonder what Spark's uh, animation is here. He apparently does not have an idle animation. Well, he, his cape swings a little bit. That's it. About it. I like the look of this level, though. Just a shame that it kind of is killing the frame rate. This is re it really is the only one that lets you be a ball wind jester for some reason. Ooh, that's lava. I also, I do kind of like that there even is, the level even has its own gimmick though, with the lava and the falling platforms. It's a neat conglomeration level so far. With these cherry blossoms that are falling on my head, they are like, they kind of add a nice visual flair. Although it also is reminiscent of the earlier levels too. Like the first few levels, like FM Canyon or whatever. Oh, now see these enemies from Karan Forest. This is neat. I just wish that it ran better. The frame rate is kind of dying. Unfortunately. Like, seriously. Yeesh. It's definitely that pulsating thing in the background. It looks nice but it's killing the frame rate. This is a shame. Because I would love to appreciate the visuals of this level. The visuals of the game in general, actually. 
but this level's making it tough. Oh well, let's just try and beat it then. I'm pressing a lot of the wrong buttons. Damn it. I couldn't jump. Wait, what? This is a new attack. I don't even know what I'm doing to do this. That time it just started after I had... Weird. Whatever. Can I have a save point, please? I would really appreciate a save point. Or health at all. Okay. I hope that thing in the background is gone. Carry a city. Nope, it's not. Oh well. At least going through this new section has given me three points of health. Which I've started to realize is actually a nice bit of having these secondary, like, areas. Because before, I used to not really always quite get why they even existed in the first place, but now, like, seeing how, like, they can heal you sometimes, like, it kind of makes Act 2, these kinds of Act 2s feel more worthwhile, I guess. Certainly more than Freedom Planets did, considering that Freedom Planet just kind of had them. Especially when, like, it would have been so easy for Freedom Planet to make them Act 2s. Especially since it even changed the music and the theming of the levels, generally. Whatever. Again, not Freedom Planet. Should focus on this. Sorry, it's easy to just make me... It's easy to think of, of really, because they're both Sonic-inspired games. Oh, you! You! This is basically a conglomeration level. It's neat. Just that flashing thing in the background. It's slowing the game down. Like, yeah, there's been other moments of slowdown in this game so far. But this is definitely the most egregious example. And it's not as if my computer is that bad. I don't know what those flashing things ended up being or what the... What these are all about. Oh, it's a train! Oh. I'm not really quite sure, like... Yeah, it's not necessarily, like, evident just from the fact that there are the red things where exactly the train itself is going to be coming out of. I wanna go this way? I think I wanna go this way. When in doubt, go right. I wish this level ran better. I'm doing a lot of nothing right now. <laughs> Okay, you can go away at any point, buddy. I don't like you. Or your face. 
Now we're back in the valley. That guy. Looks like he was sleeping. Lad's just a rude shield boy. Gravity Jester. Uh, he's he's just kind of awkward though. Like I would use him, but he kind of destroys the need for platforming, and I don't necessarily like that. So I would I would probably say that gravity is a bit overpowered. At least the hammer ability, although. I guess gravity is also extremely rare. That's only the second time I've ever seen it. But even then, like I don't know how great design that is, considering that you can hang on to it forever. It's not as if it, it's not like the UFO ability from Kirby, where that also gets rid of any need for platforming or most effort, most effort. But you can generally cannot keep it between levels or something. And it does have downsides, like you can't go down ladders with it. So that makes it much better of a reward, usually. Plus, in Kirby, you also cannot keep an ability in storage for most games. You can in Superstar Ultra or Squeak Squad, but that's besides the point. I mean, even the Wind Jester tends to break the platforming sometimes. And that's just with a double jump and air dashing. So, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I'm just on a train thing. That's what's going on. Oh. I don't know what to feel about this. These things don't hurt me. Yeah, it doesn't hurt me. It's more just a spectacle now. I can gain height by holding down the flow button and dashing repeatedly. That's funny. Oh, it's dark now. Oh, these things are alive. With the sound of music. Uh. Those. Those are soldiers in armor suits? Did you kill them? No. They are just... neutralized. Cut the crap, you killed them! My instructions where to get this info at all costs. Okay, no punctuation, and that's the wrong word. And that's what I'm doing. Ugh. Lake really needs to get... uh... What's the word? Proofreader? Editor? Someone who knows English better, I guess. I actually don't know if he's American or not. If he is, then that's just kind of egregious. If it's not, then, like, even still, find some American editor who can just help you, like, not capitalize random words in the middle of sentences. And a military train? So this is a war. It's more than that. What is it? Tell me! You don't have to know. Right, of course. Hi, I'm gonna swing my magical sword at you. I get it. I understand now. 
The more hits I deal without taking damage, the more my bar fills up. When my bar is filled up, and I charge an attack, I do that big screen clear thing. Okay, I figured it out. Also, he's dead. Right? Confusion. Ow, oh, it was loading. That's a big snake, what? I said snake, I meant dragon. This is gonna hurt me. Oh, it's just above air, okay. Oh, that hit me, damn it. I was so close. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did I live? live? Why am I back? Was it... Is it because I'm magical? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm so confused. How am I back to life? What just happened? Hello? I'm... Whatever. <laughs> I defied the laws of nature. <laughs> but I guess that's just what magic does. What? Turbulence planes. Well... Uh, I still got that flashy thing in the background. It's disappointing. This is definitely a level made for wind, though. Also, this is one of my favorite songs in the game. I love how just epic it sounds. Unfortunately, the level is rife with slowdown. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna be done for this episode because that was a long previous level anyway. I think I, j I just hit a save point, and even if it doesn't save my progress, I can still just jump. Like, even if it doesn't save my abilities, I can still just jump up and get the wind thing right there, which will be helpful. And just in general, I think this will be a good length of an episode. I just bought a... I just bought a Foss? Must be a very, very useful Foss. Not very expensive. Highly recommended. Anyways, yeah, um, I do want to just be done. I think I'm done with this session, actually. Which is why I'm talking about the save point, because, like, the last time I quit out of a session, it didn't save my abilities, so I just want to see if I can try and get it to do that by hitting the save point here. Multiple times. So, yeah. Uh, next time on Let's Play Spark the Electric Jester, we're gonna actually play Turbulence Planes and have fun in the wind. So, yeah. See you guys then!